Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my weekly chat with Amy. So happy to have you here as always. And if we haven't connected yet, my name is Amy Yamada and I'm here to help you to deeply connect with yourself, your vision, and your ideal clients so that you can create the impact and the income that you've always wanted. So um, I've been actually up for a few hours already this morning. I'm not usually a super early morning person, uh, but funny story for you. I um, I actually humbly went to the dentist yesterday because I had a cat. Um, I needed to come back this morning so that I could, I had this little chip on my front tooth that needed to be fixed. And so she was like, come in at 7 a.m. And I was like, okay, I do have to be on my Facebook Live at 9 a.m. So my only request is that if you're going to have me come to the, to the dentist, come to see you in the morning, that I don't end up all like numb in the face <laughs> by the time we get started. So anyway, fortunately, it's all good. Um, everything's fine. So all that being said, I'm happy to be here with you today and talk to you about how to sell high ticket items. Now, oftentimes entrepreneurs will come to me because they see that I'm hosting these high-end luxurious powerhouse retreats. Um, they see me working with clients at a really high level and with a high level mastermind. And so all they see is like what they see on the outside. Now, of course, behind the scenes, there's been a lot of work to get here, you know, so I didn't start off with high ticket items. In fact, I remember early on, some of you have heard my story that I really didn't know what I was doing when it came to the packages that I was selling. You know, I was um, all over the place. I was a business and life coach. At one point I was an international success mentor. I was, I mean, I tried on all these different, I call it trying on outfits, right? Trying on all these different titles. Uh, but my point is I had all these little itty bitty packages. Like I remember one of them was like $247. And then there was like a 12 week package. You know, like, there was all like multiple, multiple packages and all of them were little. And so the problem with that was that it was like a lose-lose situation. Not only could I not have enough time to work with my clients privately or even in a group setting, I didn't have enough longevity to really help them and make a biggest diff the biggest difference for them. And I wasn't building a sustainable business where I can make a bigger impact in the world. So yes, of course, I also want to make money for myself and I wanted to make a bigger difference. So it was not ideal to have all these itty bitty little packages and it just wasn't helping anybody. And so it's funny to look back now at where I was then and all I was doing was the best that I could with what I knew. And at some point I thought, okay, this clearly isn't working. If I ever want to have this coaching business, not only be full time, but flourishing and thriving and grow it to this beautiful place that I want it to be, which at the time I would have been happy with maybe bringing in five to $10,000 a month. Now, of course, that vision has grown and grown and grown because I'm, I'm like so obsessed with making a bigger difference in the world. But all that being said, I went from having probably my lowest end package at about $247 and then fast forward to today and I have a $30,000 package for my VIPs. Now, at one point in time, I remember hearing these coaches talk about $25,000, $100,000 packages and I'm like, who do they think they are to charge that kind of money? Granted, they were on the stages and writing the books and hosting great masterminds and I was in the audience. So I was like, I want to be in judgment of you because I think it's wrong, you know, but I was also envious of those who were working with those people at those levels. And I realized something was that it wasn't about how much the high ticket package was. It was about the value that it represented. So today I'm excited to share with you on how to sell high ticket items. And uh, for those of you who are watching live, are you excited? Like, tell me if you're excited about this. If so, say yes, yes, yes. If you're watching this on YouTube or my blog, then you can always comment below and let me know about what you're thinking about in terms of creating high ticket packages. So I also was thinking back just this morning, I was thinking back to when I worked for my beloved former career in the magazine world. You know, I worked in the, I worked in the media, so I worked in the radio broadcasting industry, and then I worked for a magazine that was in that world altogether for about 15 years. And I, when I worked for the magazine, this was a really interesting thing, actually both in the radio world and in the magazine world. My best clients were my highest paying clients. My not so best, my least favorite clients were the ones that were buying this little tiny, like one sixth of a page ad and spending, a, there was a very little ad spend and they were nickeling and diming me and they were calling me every day saying, how come my phone's not ringing yet? When I clearly explained to them that in the magazine, it's all about branding yourself first. And so what was interesting was that I found that, gosh, you know, I'm a commission-based salesperson and my littlest advertisers 
are the biggest pain. Like I hate to say it, but I'm just going to be transparent with you. And my best clients were the ones who were like, you know what? We're going to invest. We want like a full page or a two page spread. And we're going to be in with you for the entire year. Like my biggest contracts. And they were the most pleasant to work with. They understood how to best use the magazine. And they're really enjoyable to work with. So I, I think back to that time now, there's like a, there's a golden thread about your, your best clients are also your most premium clients. Now the same thing in being a client, right? Like I have been, I've had the best experience as a client, as a high ticket client versus buying a little product. So I think back to, again, when I first launched my business, I worked with a couple of local coaches here in the Seattle area that were wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful. If I saw them today, I'd give them a big hug because they did help me get started. However, I bet that they could have, they could have upsold me from the little package to a higher package and made a bigger difference for me and brought in more income from me had they made offers that were high ticket. Okay. So is this making sense? If so, say yes. Okay. So as a client, I look back also at the online courses that I participated in. Now I think online courses are actually great if you do them, right? And I, I myself offer a high, a, like a, a, an online course. And I think it's great for those, those of my clients who actually have done it, great. The ones who get the best results are the ones who invest in the online course and then step into my mastermind or step into one of my retreats, you know, so they have more access to me. So here's the thing. Notice the common thread everywhere. High ticket is where it's at. High ticket is not just about you making more money. High ticket is about you making a bigger difference and going somewhere like going deeper with someone, going deeper with someone so that you can really take them the distance. And how great would it be for those of you who are coaches, or even if you have a service-based business and you have like a bundled membership that's at a premium level that you can offer, that's going to make a bigger difference for your clients. Plus there'll be a loyalty there and they'll feel special because they'll be VIP. You know, there's all sorts of benefits. So I just, I share this because I know some of you are just like, gosh, I really want to improve my cash flow, or I really want to have that next breakthrough. Maybe you want to hit that next six figure mark, or maybe you're like me and you're working your seven figure plan. And I'm like, what can I do to have that next big breakthrough and also not make it all about me? You know, something that my, uh, my colleagues and my coach talks about is don't be focusing on the give to give, or I'm sorry, don't be focused on the give to get, focus on the give to give. And I used to not understand that. And now I get that generosity always wins. So the other piece of this that sometimes I know that some of you heard me say is that also be super generous in the content that you're putting out there in the world. I know some of you were on my marketing boot camp that was a daily Facebook live for an entire month. I gave my best stuff away. I know some of you are coming to a live training for those of you watching live today. There's a live training today um, that I'm doing a live full on workshop teaching my best stuff. So if one might ask, what's the difference between what you give away for free and what you teach your clients. And I will say something that I never would have said years ago, which is something I was inspired by my coach and the people that influenced me. What's the difference between what you give away for free and what you, what you give, you know, provide for your clients, your paying clients. The answer is nothing, nothing. The difference is access, right? So the content is the same. I'm giving you. So even if you don't invest a penny with you, I'm giving you my best stuff because I don't want anyone to say I didn't have the guidance that I needed to do what I needed to do. And the value, the higher level value is in the access that you get to someone. Okay. So I just wanted to show this because I know some of you are really wanting to break through to having those high ticket offerings. The other piece of it is really making sure that you're enrolled in what it is first. Okay. So, um, my number one tip, my number one tip on creating high ticket items is to focus not on a big price tag, but focus on making a difference, focus on making a difference. So what do I mean by that? Making sure that when you create this high ticket package, that you're providing more value for more investment from your clients in more value for more investment, meaning more access to you. So if you are a recovering people pleaser like me, then maybe at some point, or maybe even now you say yes to everything and everyone. And you're just like, gosh, I keep saying yes to all these people. I'm giving away so much coaching for free. I can barely pay my bills, my rent, my mortgage. I just need a breakthrough. Like I, I can't keep living like this. Well, you get to find that way to set boundaries, find that way to set boundaries. And so practicing no, and also practice saying, no, that doesn't work for me. Here's what does. So because I used to leave myself so wide open, guess what? People would take advantage of that. Not in a bad way. It's not their fault. I was open to it. I was like, 
they're like, oh, Amy, can I just meet you for coffee? I want to pick your brain. Or, you know, I, I know some of you commented on this when I said it once, but I got, so, I had so many requests for people to pick my brain and they're like, I'll treat you to coffee. And like, my brain is worth more than a $4 cup of coffee. Like, I love you, but I need to start valuing myself and my time, right? So, so think of it as creating more for more, creating more value at a higher investment. And, and that means more access to you. So my VIP clients, they have the most access to me and they are wonderful to work with. They've got more skin in the game than anyone. And sometimes I get to nudge them to say, hey, I'm here and available to you because they're so like, they take the coaching, they, they show up for our coaching calls, totally prepared, letting me know where they, where they are now, what they need help with so I can, we can be really laser focused. And then they take it and run with it. And it's just, it's so awesome to watch. And that's how I like to show up for my coach as well, right? I come prepared. I make my questions meaningful and specific, and I don't give her this long backstory or excuses. I come with a great attitude. I believe that I'm open and coachable. She actually just complimented me on that the other day. She's like, thank you for being so lovely to coach. I'm like, hey, I, I also know that I am who I attract, right? So that, that might be another aha moment for you. You are who you attract as a client, okay? So, so to bring it back, the number one thing that I do to create high ticket packages is to provide more value for more investment. And that means more access to me. Okay. Okay. So, um, and of course I will open up for questions. So if you're thinking about questions as I'm speaking, go ahead and pop that in the comments if you're watching this live and I'll be happy to answer them. So finally, I want to talk about how to handle money objections like a pro, how to handle money objections like a pro. So sometimes what people say to me, yeah, I mean, that sounds great. Like even if I have a package that I think is so awesome, that has all this value, all this access to me, and it's 10,000, 15, 20,000 plus dollars, when it comes down to it, I'll have a really great conversation with someone. We'll be on the same page. I feel the connection. And then I go to make the offer and then the resistance comes in, right? The objection. We're like, oh, I really see the value, but I just can't afford that. And so oftentimes she'll say, what do you do in that moment? Or I've had 20 calls or a hundred calls that have been just like that. And I always say to them, like in my beyond seven step sales enrollment conversation, the D and beyond is don't let them off the hook and also don't be attached, right? So it's not about pushing them. It's about thinking about, especially for those of you who are coaches. And even if you're not, if you're wanting to be an influencer then don't let them off the hook. Because if they've shared with you their vision, their big dream, the be and beyond you is big dream. If they've shared that with you, then you get to take a stand for their vision and their big dream. And if you say, oh, okay, I understand. Let's just stay in touch. Or why don't we touch base again in six months? Or yeah, I, I understand. Let's talk again in a few months. Uh, you know, I, I say this because I've been that person, by the way. right? So instead, lead with compassion. What, I, what do I mean by that? Drop into your heart. And if you understand what it's like to be in, in a space of opportunity and you say, you know, you know that, gosh, I really want to do this. But the first thought is I can't afford it. Then lead with compassion and say, you know what? I totally get it. I, I understand where you are now. And then go into a story, go into your own personal story. If you have one, of course, it's all within integrity of when you've been in that place and what did you do to overcome that situation? And it's not that they need to use the exact, exact same steps to overcome it the way that you did. The point of the storytelling is to open them up to possibility, open them up, open them up. And what happens is their wheels start turning. They're like, you know what? You're right. Actually, there is something I can do. Actually, I can find a way, put down that down payment and I'll be committed to figuring it out as we go along. If there's a monthly payment option, does that make sense? So don't let them off the hook. You know, if you're really here to take a stand for people, then you can do that without being pushy. And, and if ever I feel like there's any tension at all, cause I don't like pressure at all myself. Right. So I'll just, I'll just remind them and myself, I'll say, just know there's no pressure from me. I'm just here to take a stand for your vision. And when you shared with me that your big dream was X, Y, and Z, I know that I can help you get there. I know that my powerhouse mastermind or my powerhouse retreat or this bundled package that has all these elements in it can help you get there if you're open and if you're coachable and willing to take action. So these are some of my best tips on selling high ticket items. And 
not being afraid of it and not feeling like it's all about you and money because I know that the people I attract are not those types of people, right? Yes, you do want financial freedom. And first and foremost, if you're like me, the most fulfillment comes when you can make a difference for people. It's the biggest fulfillment, right? So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Q&A. Um, and while I'm waiting for your fabulous questions of any problems I can help you solve in your business today, I did wanna mention, I know a lot of you have been hearing about Powerhouse California. We literally have two spots left in this, in this program and it's, uh, it's all coming up very soon. So the actual, so okay, let me back up. For those of you who haven't heard about it, Powerhouse California, it's probably one of my happiest places in my business in that we're doing another retreat. So it's a two day retreat. It's like a workshop style retreat in a beautiful mansion. Cause you know, we like to do it up in Powerhouse style, Powerhouse California. There's a mansion that I've, I've booked in Rancho Santa Fe. It's about 30 minutes away from San Diego. And on June 24th and June 25th, we're going to be there together and I'm going to be going deep with you in your marketing messaging, in your copywriting and content creation that deeply connects and gets clients to line up for you. We're going to do your marketing plan for the next six months to be covered between now and the end of the year with marketing strategy. So you can just have a clear action plan. And then of course it's to stay focused and we're going to be talking about handling objections so that you can become masterful at that or take it to the next level for those of you who are already rocking it out. Okay, so that's happening June 24th and June 25th. And then we've got coaching. I decided to add coaching calls in a small group setting on Zoom that's happening all throughout July on a weekly basis. So I can really help you. And my coaching team is also going to be accessible for you to even book one-on-one -on -one calls with. They're super generous. Like originally this was just going to be the retreat and I was like, I'm going to add this. And my coaching team was like, and we'll be available too. We love our powerhouses. So I cannot even wait. It's going to be so much fun. So I mentioned this because if you've been curious at all, just know that, you know, life is now, time is now, there's always a way and it's going to be epic. It's so awesome. If you haven't seen pictures of the house itself, it's, it's amazing. But I'm more than anything, I'm committed to helping you to have a breakthrough in your messaging so that you can rock out the rest of this year and have so much fun with it. So. Um, and finally, before I go into questions, um, I know some of you are already registered for you who are, who are watching this live. I do have a live free workshop this afternoon from 1230 PM Pacific until 330 PM Pacific. So we get to be together, like think of this as our mini retreat, you know, or for those of you who are coming to the retreat, I know some of you are coming to this workshop too. It'll further prepare you as pre-work for the retreat itself. So um, so yeah, so if you're available for, for that whole time or any amount of that time, I highly recommend coming. It's called Create Your Clear Message, and I'll be taking you through my C-L-E-A-R, my clear method to create that clear message, and we're going to go deep into some training around my Create Connect offer system. There'll be time for Q&A. We'll take a couple breaks so you're not like, oh my gosh, it's three whole hours. I'm telling you, whenever, whenever you work with me, that time goes by so fast, and it'll be fun too. So. Just want to mention those things. Um, I know uh, Holly, who's on my team here, wonderful Holly, giving her a shout out, did post the, the uh, link on that. So if you haven't opted in yet, go ahead and click on the link to reserve your spot and to get all the information of how to ju jump on that Zoom call in just a few hours today. Okay. All right. So Q and A, it's shout out time. One of these days, one of you is going to write me a jingle. Shout out time. <laughs> I know I'm goofy here. Okay, so hi, Sherelle. Hi, Yvette. I'm seeing a lot of powerhouses on here. Hey, Valerie, who's coming to California. Hi, Yvette. Hey, Isabel. Hi, Justine. Hey, Carmen. Oh my gosh, Carmen. I can't wait to see you. I hope I get to see you um, at our mastermind here coming up soon. Hey, Diane. We got to chat the other day. Hey, Jenny. Hi, Lisa G. Awesome. Great turnout today. Hey, LG. Hi, Lahia. Hey, Barb. Oh my gosh. I love seeing all your little circle faces. <laughs> hey, Dennis. Hi, Gustavo. Hey, Randy. Okay, Isabel. She said, is that usually the order that they come in through the e-course then go deeper with one-on-one -on -one coaching? Isabel, great question. Um, there's no perfect order. So I have done it both ways. I've done it both ways. I've done it where um, people who have followed me online or that I've met at a networking event or who are on my email list or have seen me speak. Um, I've done it where where we've been introduced initially somehow, and then we have an, a conversation or they chat with one of my associate coaches, and then they step into my high-end program. So whether it's my powerhouse retreat, powerhouse mastermind, or even a VIP level, which is application only. Um, so it has happened that way. Also, Isabel, there have been times when people have invested in my online master your marketing course, 
which is a six week online course to get them started where I go through my Create Connect offer system and then we jump on a call and I just make sure that they're getting what they need from the course. And if they would like to go further with me, then again, they either talk to myself or one of my coaches and then they invite them in to my mastermind or one of our other high end offerings. Okay. So that's how that works. Um, I have had people who have stepped into one of my retreats and we've got the coaching around it. So um, whether it's been, sometimes I've done it with um, three months of coaching, sometimes with six or seven weeks. And then at the retreat, I make an invitation to step into Powerhouse Mastermind. So it could be still a high ticket item into the next level. So it's just up to you. Um, Sometimes people like to do that so that they can see on both sides, like, are we a good fit? You know, working together in a shorter term might give us both an idea of if we're a good fit. I'm a deep connector from the beginning. So sometimes I'm like, hey, you know what? I totally can see how I can help you. And we both feel like we're a good fit for one another. So I'm just going to go ahead and invite you right into my powerhouse mastermind and it works out. So it's just up to you and how you feel and your connection with people. Um, But it can be, it can be done both ways. So I hope that helps. Okay. Hey, Michelle, my beloved Michelle. Uh, Okay. Isabel Tartaglia. Hey, Cheryl. Yes. Yes, Diane, you are who you attract. Love that. Oh, yeah. So here's the other piece. If you want to attract high paying clients, I believe in practicing what you preach. Okay. Be a high ticket client, like be a premium client. And even when you don't know how you're going to pay for that high end client, you know, coaching, for example, like I have been with my coach since 2014, Shanda Sumter. And every year I've gone to the next level of her coaching. And now I'm in her 1% club, which she only launched this year. Um, which was application only. And there was like, you know, there's only 12 of us in there and um, it is incredible. And, it, and, you know, at every year it feels like there's that pinch of like, oh my gosh, this is like that next level high-end coaching. And I also know that I'm going to show up fully. I'm going to be so coachable. I'm going to take action. I'm going to rock it out and I will take my business to the next level and trust myself that I will be able to make those monthly payments. So just know that the stretch and the fear doesn't go away. And if you don't have the confidence have the courage to do it anyway. Have the courage to do it anyway. I'm telling you, that way of thinking has taken me so much further than my old way of thinking of, maybe I should wait, maybe I should wait, maybe I should wait. Either way, you're practicing a way of being. Either way, you're practicing a way of being. Either you're practicing a way, be, a way of being, of being indecisive and making decisions based on not trusting in yourself and believing yourself, or you're practicing a way of being that is having the courage to do it anyway and trusting yourself and knowing that we're not even guaranteed life tomorrow, let alone clients or money. And I'd rather be the person that practices courage on a daily basis and strengthens that muscle so that when I want to put on a three day big event, like I am this year, that is like my super stretch. But the more I speak into it and take action steps, it's become like, it's gone from this scary to like, okay, it's still scary, but I'm, I'm fully in, I'm so committed. And I know I'm going to figure out every step of the way. I've got the right coach, the right community, the right event production team, and I trust myself. I trust myself. So, um, so yes, you are who you attract. For, so for those of you who are wanting to charge high end, you know, high ticket um, for your high ticket items, high ticket prices, I highly recommend that you become a high ticket client yourself. Even if you don't know how, trust yourself. Find a coach that is in alignment with you and just say, okay, if they, fortunately, a lot of us do have payment plans. So if you've been resonating with me, I do have payment plans for most things that I offer. Then just think about if I could just find a way to invest in that first payment, I will be open and coachable and I'll find a way every month to make that next payment and I will communicate and we'll get through this together. Like I'm telling you, it is way better than doing it on your own. So um, you are who you attract. Yes, Lahia, you're welcome. Isabel, how do you not let them off the hook if they avoid you? Um, well, if they avoid me, like if they go MIA, there's nothing I could do. I mean, I still will follow up several times. So I will send them an email or a text message, depending on my relationship with them. And I'll just say, you know, Hey, as well, just wanted to, you know, check. First I will say, I just wanted to follow up with you. I really enjoyed a conversation the other day about how you want to host these amazing retreats and help people with emotion, emotional weight loss and food addictions and cravings. I know this because we got to work together. We've gotten to work together. And, um, I would really love to help you with that. And so I just want to see if, um, if you're available to circle back around tomorrow at 10 AM Pacific or 10 AM Eastern, and we can chat then. And if, it, if, if you send a, a several, like a series of emails or text messages, and you're not getting anything back after maybe the third or fourth attempt, 
then go ahead and send one email that has nothing to do with your program with the subject line, are you okay? Or is everything okay? Because life happens and hopefully they are okay and that they just have had a lot on their plate. Um, but I find that if I send a very loving, compassionate email that says, are you okay? Is everything okay? Just say, hey, Isabella, you know, I, I, I know I've reached out several times over the past week. I don't want to bug you or anything, but I just want to make sure that you're okay. Is everything all right? Just hit reply and let me know and i um, sending much love, Amy. Oftentimes that will elicit a, res a response. And then the person, oh my gosh, yes, Amy, I'm so sorry. It's just been such a crazy week, but I have been thinking about you. And then we continue to uh, have the conversation, okay? Awesome, hey, Devorah. All right, I love these questions. Sherelle, what do you suggest when they say, I want this, but I wanna think about it. I wanna share my heart is aligned with it. Um, so Sherelle, I just, I keep it real. I'm like, awesome, so I'm hearing you say that you want this. Um, is there anything specific that you need to think about? And anytime you ask a question, ask it and then be quiet. Is there anything you need to think about? And then there's like a quiet because they're processing. And then oftentimes there's something behind that. If they need to think about it, it's because they're not trusting themselves to make a decision um, or they've made a promise with themselves that they never make a decision on the spot. If that's the case, they're a controller, which I can relate to because I'm a controller promoter type personality. Um, although now I make decisions more efficiently. Um, so if, um, if they are a controller type, then they won't make a decision on that call. So if they are, just say, okay, I hear you. And then always book the next step always book the next step. So, so if it were someone like me, Sherelle, like if it was my, my old ways of being, then I would say, you know what, Sherelle, I'm just not going to make a decision today. And you could say, okay, I hear you. So, um, what would you think about making a decision by tomorrow morning at, you know, 9 a.m. Pacific? And I'd say, okay, that sounds good. Or I'd tell you when I was available and we would book that call. And then you would give me the chance to be in my controller ways to make a decision. And I would give you an answer the next day. Okay. Awesome. Yes, Val. I'm so excited for you to be a part of it too. It's awesome. Hey, Sonia, hope you're feeling better. Um, Justine, will it be access to a replay? This has been the number one question this week. I'm going to talk to my team. Originally, we were not going to do a replay for this workshop, but I've been getting a lot of requests, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not going to promise it, but it's, it's likely. It's likely. Hey, Kate. Uh, yes, you're welcome, Justine. Okay, awesome. All right, everybody. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. If you think of any other questions, go ahead and pop it in the comments below. Or if you're watching this on YouTube or my blog, go ahead and put it in the comments. Or you can always reach out to myself and my team. I've got an incredible team of coaches that are here to help you as well. And um, again, for those of you who have been even thinking about Powerhouse California, at least give yourself the chance to consider it. Like if that's part of your dreams, I know some people have shared with me later that they had like a picture of Powerhouse on their vision boards and dream boards. I'm like, dude, why did you not tell me that? Like we could have gotten you enrolled much sooner and come up with a plan that would work for both of us and you'd be in already and then you'd have the breakthroughs that you need in your messaging so that you can put yourself out there in a way that you feel so like aligned with your vision, your message, your purpose. Like it's so much easier. Like let me just tell you before I wrap up. In the last few years, it has been so much easier for me to attract not only clients, but clients I love because I know my message, I know myself, I'm authentic, I let go of perfection, I put myself out there in a consistent way across like specific platforms, and people come to me. Like they come to me every day and they refer people to me and they either jump on a call with myself or my team and it's not that everybody says yes, but a, a percentage of them, a healthy percentage of them say yes and then we love working together. And some of those clients, they don't just come to one thing, they step into my mastermind and they renew and we become long-term like family. Like, you know what, as long as I'm growing, my clients will grow. You know, we're a reflection of each other and we play team. My team and I play team, my clients and I play team. There's so much love in the room, like in the virtual space and when we come together in person. So if you've been feeling alone in this journey and you're just like, if I could just have Amy's guidance, if I could just have her hold my hand, walk through this process, tell me what's missing because I'm, I'm a hard worker and something's clearly not working or there's a gap in order for me to get to that next level, then let's at least have a conversation. Like give yourself permission to dream, you know, give yourself permission to dream and watch what unfolds for you. I'm telling you, it's a better way of thinking, a better way of living and you get to lean in and live into that big dream. All right, sending you all much love and, uh, for those of you who are going to be on with me at 12.30 p.m. Pacific today, I will see you there at my Create Your Clear Message workshop. Woo-woo, it's going to be so much fun. 
And um, otherwise, then uh, you know, I'm on every Thursday morning, chat with Amy at 9 a.m. Pacific. All right, sending you all much love. Bye.